Okay, good morning, everybody. Welcome. Let's begin by just stop jogging and play Sich, Ni, Sun, Shi, Go, Rook, Sich, Hach, Ku, Ju, Ich, Ni, Sun, Shi, Go, Rook, Sich, Hach, Ku, Ju. You can go back a little, Ich, Ni, Sun, Shi, Go, Rook, Sich, Hach, Ku, Ju. Feel which part of your body needs more warming up. Maybe it's your ankles, your knees, your hips, your brain. <laughs> ich, Ni, Sun, Shi, Go. Okay, feet shoulder width apart and arm across your body. And squeeze. Knee. And squeeze. Some. And squeeze. And now for, back to forward each. Me, some, and now out to the side. Keep your body facing forward and just stretch as much as you can all the way around. Me, some, and other side across your body. Each squeeze. Me. Squeeze, some, squeeze, and back to front. I like to take a couple of steps. It's optional. Me, some, and out to the side. Just your full range of motion. Don't stress or strain. Just get a little bigger each time. Me, oh, I found the spot. So. <laughs> okay, softly like taking off a sweater, just reach down, just opening up, opening, 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 and stretching. <sighs> Again, a little lower, a little bigger. Knee. Yes, awesome. <clears throat> oh, so, so, Keeping going. She push out your stomach, lift your chin, raise your arms. <coughs> and last one, relax your lower back all the way to the ground and softly come up. Each knee, some she go. Good, good, good. Okay, let's open like a starfish or a sea star, I think it's officially called. And lean over to one side. Hands straight up, relax and open the side of your body. Just leaning, you can also lean onto something sometimes so that helps you stretch more. Each, me, some, she, go. Other side, and relax over. Feel your hip open, this part of your body, your, uh, between your shoulder and your hip. And leaning over each, me, some, she go back to center, arms extended more. And other side, lean over, relax the arm that's going down. And lean over a little bit more, each knee. So now drop your hand, put it behind your head, and open your elbow and try and look up each knee. Some she. Go and relaxing down all the way and grasp your ankle. Each knee, some she go and to center, bend your knees and come up. Each knee, some she again, other side, relax over. Each knee, some hand to head, elbow back, looking up. Each knee, some. She go and relaxing over to your ankle. Each knee, some she go and to center, bend your knees and come up. Each knee, some good, 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 good. Okay, let's do uh, neck forward and back. Each nice and slow, stretch your neck in the back and in the front. Knee, 
some she go and resting your head on your shoulders just side to side each just roll that big ball each knee some she go rook sich hatch ku chu and just straight on not forward yet just straight on side to side each me some she go rook sich Watch. And now looking down and side to side, each very softly. Knee, some, she, go, look, sich, watch. And softly rotations, two each time, each. Knee. And other way, each knee. And again, the other way. Now start using more of your upper body. Just kind of loosen up, knee. Leave your arms at your sides just now. And other way, each. Yes, yes, knee. All right, now softly using your arms, just softly around each. Uh. Knee. Right. So, so, so. Other way, getting bigger each. Knee. Okay, now relax at the bottom and go side to side each. Knee. Some. She. Go. Look, sich, hatch, ku, ju. So now we're going to do it a full extension, just two each way, and do it in a way that you're comfortable and safe doing this alone uh, in your own home. Okay? So whatever's comfortable for you. And beginning each. Oh. Again, knee. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's, other way, each. Oh. Me. Oh. Yes. Oh. And relax at the bottom side to side each. Me. Some. She. Go. Look. Sich. Hatch. Ku. Ju. And bend your knees and come up and put your hands on your lower back. And stretch out, just stretch out each. Oh. Relax back, knee, some, she, go, rook, sit, hatch, ku, chu. Good, good, good. Okay, coming back to center. Okay, so now we're going to stretch our lower body a little bit more. And what I like to do is uh, basically this is just a Kudadachi stretch, okay? So um, just front knee bent, back leg straight. I feel this here in a variety of other places. I'm finding holding on to something sometimes lets me stretch more. So think about that for yourself in your practice. Each knee, some. She go look sit hatch and trading uh, trading legs that are that are forward and back. Keep your back straight and just go down as you're comfortable. Each knee some she go look sit hatch ku Okay, and then coming forward again. And what I do here, this is kind of like a triangle. I put my feet shoulder width or wider. I put my hands down on the floor in front of me and I go over. If I need support in the middle here, I just go over this way and move my hands. Uh, feet are flat on the floor. Each, I feel this on the inside of this leg and various other places. Each knee, 
sun, she, go, rook, sich, hatch, ku, ju. Now back to center with your hands that help you transition and go over each knee, sun, she, go, rook, sich, hatch, ku, ju. And back to the other side. And if you're comfortable, raise the other toes over there each, and you can reach them if you like me. Some she go rook sich hatch ku ju using your hands to transition over toe up if you can each me some she go and back to center and bring your legs together slowly bend your knees and come up each me some she go and at this point I like to do a little bit of uh, just just kicking okay so each me some she go good uh, height is not the issue it's uh, rotating your ankles using your knees letting your hips comfortable some she go good see uh now to the side each me some she <laughs> go look you <laughs> into the back each me some she go look teach uh into the front just swing your leg each me some she go look teach touch go good 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 okay um Legs shoulder width apart, hands on your knees, rotate inward each. Look far forward, knee, some, she, go, and outside, rotate outside each, knee, some, she, go, feet together and rotate each. Still looking far forward, knee, some, other way, each, knee, some. Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, feet uh, not super together, but not shoulder width. Hands on your koshi, looking far forward. Just rotate the middle of your body. Try to keep your head uh, still. Each knee. Some. Other way. Each. Me. Some. Okay, and shoulder width apart. Just go ahead and touch everything on your own personal equator here. Each. Me. Some. Other side. Each. Me. Some. And then just uh, soften your back and just a couple side to side each. Me, sun, she, go, hook, siege. Good, good, good. Okay, and let's uh, straighten ourselves up as we prepare for a short meditation. Uh, leg shoulder width apart, body relaxed, tenshi jin feeling. Mokso. Mokso yame. Right? Thank you, Sandra. Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm going to adjust the camera here a little. I'm a little taller. Imagine <laughs> that. Um, so uh, mm -hmm. we had a really nice gachku up in uh, Quebec, and one of the things he told um, uh, uh, emphasized with us is a clarity of um, what we're doing with the boko versus what we're doing with the um, boken. For me, that was one of my takeaways. Um, I'm going to be, um, sorry, I'm going to grab my chair. I'm going to sit down and, um, 
we're going to do a little uh, tenso shoko. Um, I want to first show everybody clearly. Um, so, so starting on your right side, I want everybody to have a, 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 a if you, imaginary stick if you don't if you don't have it. Um, it the reason I'm using the chair is because my ceiling, I can touch it with my like my, my hands. So uh, um, I have to sit down if I want to do a proper tensor with a with a, a, any any bit of a stick. So when uh, first off, when we're uh, working with the boat toe, we want clarity. Let's put it take it from our right side to our left side. This keeping the head of our boat toe. Uh, or uh, the handle of our book go up, like we're keeping the head of our body straight and uh, dignified. Um, try not to let your, uh, when you're holding it, watching or doing other activities, always try to hold it so that the, uh, it's in a nice angle up um, so that it um, aligns with your body as well as it's uh, keeping close uh, and, um, it's ready for martial license. The other part is, is it, you're not likely to bang into anybody if you start, so I'm gonna do uh, in, incorrectly. If people start holding this way and turning around, if they're close to each other, they'll either bang a coffee cup or uh, each other. Um, and we try to imagine this is a real sword um, when we're practicing, so, we don't we don't want to accidentally cut somebody in half or uh, jab them and it hurts if you if you get whacked drawing the sword there there's a basic simple way we we just pull out and let it rotate blade facing down towards the ground our grip is mostly left hand that's supporting the weight our right hand is just gently holding it as if, if it's a guide, as if you're, you would hold a uh, paintbrush if you're wanting to do beautiful calligraphy. And pulling back, slowly rotate down and in. So it's, this is different than if we were, uh, we're doing uh, the, uh, particularly, if we've been doing a lot of uh, um, book plan practice, it we don't have to imagine drawing it out of the scabbard for this type with this type of uh, uh, the book toe. Um, so we're going to just rotate it out, and as you come out, you right away reach out into Shoko. Okay, this I'm going to switch directions here, and I'm going to sit down so that I can do it. And from here, everybody can see, I'm going to do a little angle here and just as we raise up, we keep reaching, keep reaching. I'm going to have to adjust my hands a little bit up the bulk toe to go under my ceiling. And <laughs> when we reach tensile, we want it directly above our heart and our body is in line with it. All right. And everybody slowly reaching out, reaching out, cutting down to the horizon. Before you put back, you give your best idea, your best inspiration. This is like, okay, I've just done my morning stretching workout for the morning and I, I want to start my day or I, I want to give my best to my best friend. I've just done, done that, had a good conversation. We're about ready to finish and, and go home. The last is always, that the first and last impressions, I always think of my book to practice as like a conversation with a good friend, particularly Tenso Shoker, and then pulling back and to your side.
Okay, everybody, one more time, we're gonna do that. So it's, oh, it's this particular practice, I really recommend everybody do this with themselves for a uh, place that they can reach tensile really well and do it for, uh, you know, three or four days in a week uh, and really enjoy it. You don't have to do a long shoko, maybe two or three minutes is enough. Reach out. Your hara, my, my energy is coming from through my lower back, my koshi, shooting out my hara, out, out, out in through my sword to the end of the horizon and beyond. My shoulders should relax and my breathing become relaxed and normal. And then slowly tenso. And again, if you need to adjust, try to keep it straight and you can reach slowly up this board, the bokto, the stick, whatever you're using, or freehand. And reach tenso. Hold, reach a little higher. Imagine the energy shooting up from the earth through your sword body, your sword, it all becomes one shooting out into the sky. And when you reach the top of that energy shooting as far as it can go, begin to gently with that same extension, cut down, reach out, Tap down, reach out. Relax your shoulders. Let the energy come through your hara, from your koshi, through your sword. The weight is the weight of the sword is mostly in your left hand. Guide it further with your right. And go ahead and pull back. And I'm going to set my book to a down and I break it. Let's all put our book to a down for a second. So the same motion uh, of tenso and choco with freehand should have that same feeling of extension. So we don't have a real draw. We can do off if we wish to to come here to this position, but Let's start, just reach out Shoko. My wrists bend back and just like with my Bokto, I'm extending beyond my, the palms of my hands. My fingers spread wide. The energy comes through my body the same way. From my Koshi, through my Hara, shooting out through my hands to the horizon. And I begin to lift and I cut up from the horizon into the sky, like a big dome of the universe. Now I reach tenso, yes. directly above my heart, my neck, my in line with my body. Let's see if I can do this a little bit to the side so you can see. Yes. Enjoy the tenso, let the energy shoot up and down. Yes. And when you reach the highest possible extension, begin painting the sky down to the horizon. Let your shoulders relax, shoot it out from your hara. The weight mm. is carried from your koshi, not from your shoulders. And gently come back. And one more time, reach out. And go intenso. Inasa. Una. 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 
reach the highest point, allow grace to enter the universal energy and begin to bring it to the world. Uh, go ahead and pull back. Good. So, just wanted that reminder of really the clarity of why, for me, why Boko practice is different than uh, much of the other sword practice uh, in in any movement. That I, it's fairly unique and it's so related to. The essence of, uh, for me, of for Shintaido practice. So let's do um, Kani. Uh, last week we were, or two weeks ago, we were pract beginning practice of Tenshin Goso with a sword. So we're going to, I'd like to continue that. So as we pull out, we're going to just open, and I would like to start back and forth, Chudan Kai. And imagine, so with my boat toe, there's a reaching out beyond the tip. And I'm going to just do that a few more times. I twist my sword and cut each time I drop back and forth. So this time I'm coming up on my left or right side, holding on my right side. I'm gonna continue to round, uh, reaching behind until I come around on my left side and I'm gonna cut down a Jodan cut. Reaching out, reaching out, reaching out. Jodan Kitty Harai until I'm just beyond my partner's body. Then I pull back and spear just a little bit sideways. And then I let the boat toe rise up to the side. Into hasso, the blade will point backwards. And let it fall back. Tell it's trudons parallel to the ground. And again, reaching across, cutting out. Let's do a couple cuts left to the right, from left, right to left. And one more time back. And this time we're going to finish on the left side. And I'm going to let it draw around my body behind, yes. arching my back until I come over on my right side. And I'm cutting down. I'm going to go lower so I can reach out. You don't have to go into Kibidachi. I'm just doing this so I don't hit my seal. And reach out a, a, a little bit with a, a bit of a E feeling sideways with the sword. Then coming up into Hasso. And cutting back across Shudan. Let's continue it right up behind. Yes. Into Jodan, left Jodan, cut. When I've reached the side here, I pull back and then push out with like an E feeling and draw back. And let the sword fall so it's parallel to the ground, chewed on, cut, across, reaching out. And reach around behind. And begin to let your eyes follow the direction of lead just ahead of the sword, cutting down 
Jodan. Push out, look far distant. And let the tip come up and twist so the blade points back into Hasso. Look behind, let it fall, and cut around. Behind the over your yes. head. And coming down left side. Jodan, far distant, pierce the world, and then hook it and bring it back. And let it come behind and fall. And Uh, coming down, Jodan. Pierce out. Draw it back. Find yourself. And kind of crossed. Shoot on. One more time. Mm -hmm. Left shirt on. And Pierce, draw back. Yeah. And finish. And then standing, shoulder. And if you can, gently rise up to tenso. I need to modify my tenso because I'm standing. Yes. So I don't hit the ceiling. Pushing up and cutting down. Reach far distant. <sighs> And pull back. And rotate your shoulders. Go and she. she. Go. And twisting side to side. Sun, shoot, mm. go, go, okay, let's set our book go down. So we're going to do tension go, so I'd like to do tension go, so just one right handed, just one hand. And you can keep your other hand just relax or at your side, but keep your palm open as if it's kind of like your anchor to the ground, your left hand. So, right hand, so opening, ah. Again, draw it up so that it comes down from the left shoulder, cut your jodan is cutting down. Cross your body. E and O. And this time just going across Chudan and O. And this time cutting up over your body and Chodan. E O and cutting down Jordan 
Oops, I did the same type of thing again. Jodon. Let's continue. E. And chew down across. Heading around and right Jodon. And reach out E. And cut across right Chudon. Oh, that's the way. Cut, cut across the left Chudon. Now this is what Yes. All right. And finish. Let's do the left hand. Ah. And cut across down a big left Jodon. Push out E and draw back and cut across left to right on Chudon. Cutting down left Jodon and push out and then cut across left to, or right to left. Ah, and Jodon, E, and heading across, try around, and left Jodon. And reach out and stay on your right side and cut kind of across. And reach out and return. I was a little bit experimenting to see if that worked. I thought it did, but you have to be very clear on the cuts. Um, so let's do one last thing. We're going to do um, some uh, sunrise, sunset. I'm sorry, my brain's getting tight up here. We'll do a little bit of sunrise, sunset to finish. So just relax in your body, let your eyes follow. And push down for a triangle and go up on the right side. You look through the triangle in your hands and top and then go the opposite direction. Reach out, take your eyes, lead your hands, your body, and down. And slight angle, go out to the right in front. And twist as you reach the top and come back over your left shoulder. And back. and back the same direction, same path. Back over your left. Extend so and twist and cut out. And angle forward to the left. Reach out. Up and so twist and and behind up and so and twist 
and down. Let your body relax all the way down. Your arms come back. And going out and up to tensile, twist over to yes. the right. All, all the way behind. And down. And other side coming up. Tense. Reach out up to tensile, twist to the left. Yes. All the way behind. And down. Okay, and reaching up yes. and down, around behind to the left, or sorry, to the right, yes. and reach up tensile, and out, mm. and down, and one more time to the left. Yes. Oh. Yes. Up and up and down. And coming up. And gently recentering yourself, looking into the distance. Mokso. Mokso Yame. And wait. Okay. 